So did you try a bourbon barrel aged squapopotamus that just came out? Bourbon barrel aged squap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody brought it to the bottle share last week. It was fucking delicious. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Um, so did you, did you try the coffee version? No, there was a coffee version. I, I didn't even know that. Yeah, they only made twelve bottles of it. Wow, twelve bottles. I don't usually go chasing for those things. Did you get one? Well, in order to get one, you had to camp out twenty eight days in advance and get a squap life tattoo. And then, uh, yeah, you could get one. Wow, so uh, I assume you got one then. Well, when my grandma was asleep, I tattooed Squap Life on her too, and I took her as my mule, so I got two bottles. What? Yeah, bro, it's fine. She doesn't know what's going on usually half the time. And anyway, I was able to sell the other one on the black market for $18,000. Wait, just so you could try a coffee version of a beer you already had, you tattooed Squap Life on yourself and your grandma? Squap Life. Coffee and beer are a match made in heaven, but sometimes you can't get your hands on the coffee version of a particular beer. They're very limited oftentimes, or sometimes don't even exist at all. Well, I'm gonna show you one simple trick on how to get a coffee variant of any beer that you can get your hands on. The first thing you'll need is a French press. Any old French press will do. This is a real cheap French press. I forget, I think I got it at the grocery store. There's nothing special about it, but it's gonna do the trick. The next thing you'll be wanting is some really good coffee. I picked this up at the store. Selecting the coffee is a trick though. You want beans that aren't too glossy. You don't want them to be covered with oil. You want them to be as matte as possible. And the reason for that is because the oils from the coffee can do a number on the carbonation of your beer. And you wanna preserve as much of that carbonation as possible. So when you pick a coffee, pick one that doesn't have too much of an oily sheen and you should be okay. And the other thing you wanna do is keep the beans whole. You don't need to grind for these purposes. Whole beans are best, they're gonna give you the best results and will be easier to manage throughout the whole process. And the last thing you'll need is a beer to infuse your coffee into. I picked a local favorite from Hops and Grain Brewery out of Austin. And this is their lactose porter. It's relatively new to the market, but I think it's gonna do a really great job with the coffee. Now to get started with this, you have to have your clean French press, your clean glass, and you wanna take this thing out of here, open up your whole bean coffee. Whole bean, like I said, is preferred here. And you wanna dump about, I'd say about a cup of coffee beans right into the bottom of your French press. And you wanna crack your beer open and put the whole thing in there. Now, tilt it to the side so you're not jostling the liquid too much and releasing too much of that carbonation. but we're gonna let this sit for about a minute. It doesn't take that long. Some people will tell you that you wanna leave it in the coffee for five minutes or whatever. I don't think that's the case. A minute to two minutes is usually enough to get a good load of coffee flavor and aroma into the beer. And you wanna keep it in there for as little time as possible. And that's because the longer you keep it in there, the more carbonation is gonna come out and you wanna maintain as much CO2 in solution as possible. 
And this is a great party trick. I know a lot of my beer geek friends who had never done this before really loved it when I brought this setup out to my bottle share. And we took turns putting different types of beer into this thing with the coffee. And we tried porters and stouts and it went on to Kolsch's and Pilsner's and IPA's and we had a great time. And for like styles, if it's like a porter and then a stout and then an imperial stout, you can reuse the coffee just fine. You can rinse it out real quick with some water if you want and throw it out and then just reinfuse from the same coffee beans. Or if you're gonna use a lighter style, be sure to just freshen it up with some new beans and also be sure to wash this out between really drastically different beer styles. All right, about a minute has gone by, and we're gonna give this a little test to see how our beer is doing and see how much coffee flavor has infused into it. Now smelling it, I am starting to get a little bit of coffee in there. It's a very light amount of roast. And there it is, I'm just starting to taste it a minute in. Let's leave it for another minute and see what it tastes like after that. Oh, and if you want to speed this thing up, you can plunge this down just a little bit so that all of the coffee is underneath the surface of the liquid. It's something that I do sometimes at the beginning, sometimes in the middle of it after my first taste. It really just depends on how fast you want the coffee to infuse, and it varies from coffee to coffee. That's why I like to taste it after a minute. Sometimes you'll get a coffee that just goes crazy and, and lets all of its flavor and aroma go into the beer almost immediately. This time, however, this is a lighter coffee. It doesn't seem to have as much flavor as the ones I normally get, but so I'm going to just put this thing underneath the uh, liquid a little bit so that the coffee has more contact and hopefully infusion potential into the liquid. Okay, according to my phone, two minutes has now elapsed. We're gonna give this another taste. Yeah, a lot more coffee on the nose. Man, that's great. Mm. And that's about as much coffee as I want in the flavor. Now you can go further with this thing, but like I said, the longer you keep it in there, the, the more carbonation you're gonna lose. So you wanna find the point where it's right about what you like to taste as far as coffee and beer, and go ahead and plunge this thing the rest of the way down, and then pour it into your glass. And there you have a beautiful coffee beer. Mm. All together.